Yesterday, the housemates made their second set of nominations. Today, they found out who is up for eviction on Friday. So, who indeed will face the public vote? Stick around and maybe you'll uh, find out. It's the 3rd of June, it's day 12, and this, my friends, is Big Brother's Little Brother. Welcome everybody to today's Big Brothers Little Brother, a veritable obstacle course of a show. Uh, great show for you today. Coming up, we're going to be uh, taking a close look at the toilet, uh, the housemates' toilet habits. Apologies in advance. And Ian Lee is going to be joining us right now. He's hard at work watching the action in the house as we speak. But we kick off as we always do with Little Brothers Big News. Indeed, the big story today is that two housemates are up for eviction this week. There's so much tension in the air, we didn't even bother to put any grams underneath that. In alphabetical <laughs> order, they are... <laughs> John and Justine. Here's the moment they found out. This is the brother. <clears throat> there are two people nominated for eviction this week. Controversial. In alphabetical order. Another massive pause. John. Thought so. And Justine. <gasps> what? Where is it? <gasps> Yeah. It deserves to be back due to news like that because Cameron Goss, Justin Nush, Ray and Scott voted for John. Federico Goss, uh, John and Ray voted for Justine. But it's not just the nominations that are dividing the group at last. Last night, the boys decided to confront the girls who they claim are scoffing all the food. Today, spokesman John arranged a meeting with Steph. I think I'm going to um, call a house meeting tomorrow. But I'd like to do it tomorrow after the task is done so that everybody's concentrating on the task rather than on the inevitable argument we're going to have tomorrow morning. News on that tomorrow and indeed news we can confirm or not whether John was tying a granny knot there. And finally this afternoon the Cub Scouts got another element of the Big Brother task that to learn how to pitch a tent. There are several stages to pitching a tent. Number one, open the tent on the ground. I do, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. You shattered as well. Yes, I'll speak. Oh. Wake up. Whoa, it's a massive one. It's all right. Maybe we could all sleep in it. Yeah, Just to fill you in, tomorrow will be uh, task testing day. Three housemates will be picked at random to answer questions. Five have to tie correct knots and three have to pitch the tent in under ten minutes. They're allowed no mistakes. And don't forget, the uh, budgeted si or the gambled 65% of the shopping budget is riding on the task. Leave it then with only 33, pen uh, 33 pounds, five pence if they fail. That was Little Brother's Big News. Okie dokie, our guest today is a uh, lovely and most wonderful Mr. Ian Lee, who is st still awake, which is wonderful. Hello, Ian. Hello, Larry. Nice to see you, sir. You're right. How are you doing? You're yeah, right. very well. Thanks very much. <laughs> Cheers. I'm uh, studying the Big Brother team as we speak. Excellent. Uh, double trouble for the twins, uh, John and Justine, as they face uh, eviction from the house. Mm. What do you think about that? I want John to win. I love John. I think he, if he can stay through this week, he will win. Um, but they're going to keep voting him out of the house because they find him really boring. But we love the boring John, don't we? Huh? He's a genius. Okay, we, we, we are totally devil's advocate Excellent. on this show. Oh, so, really? Yeah, so we just give you that voice piece. A little bit dangerous. And then we go, hmm, we can't really comment about that. All right? We want John to win. Okay, cool. Uh, more from that later on, more from you later on. Yes, With that please. in mind, today's cool BBLB question is, who would you have nominated and why? Here's how you can have your say. All right, yesterday the housemates made their first set of uh, full nominations here to discuss the implications for the group as body language expert friend of the show, Judy James. Hello, Judy. Hello. Yeah. Okay, Judy, first things first. They seem to be a close bunch. Um, how do they cope with the nominations this time round? Um, almost too well, actually, because uh, despite the fact that it looks like the Veil of Tears in there, they're all grizzling every time the word nomination gets yeah. mentioned. They absolutely enjoyed doing it this time, and they were probably the most vicious group I've ever seen on Big Brother. Really? They nominated everybody... Yeah. Those guys? Everybody apart from John and Nush nominated because they didn't like the housemates that were nominated. John and Nush did it on logic, but the others, they just did a complete... And one of them even nominated three people. Right. Voluntarily nominated. Did, did John, did John and Nush, did they nominate? I mean, do you believe that, or is that just? John, I would believe. John is a logic man. John is not emotional man. Mm -hmm. John would look at Vulcan. it. Vulcan. Oh, totally Vulcan. Yeah. Um, 
he would look at it and say, no, 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 um, one of them's eating too much, they have to go. So yeah. it wouldn't be an emotional decision for it's him. A, it's Darwin is, in his purest form, really, John, isn't it? Eating too much, for the of the fittest, they've got to Off go. Off they go. Okay. I mean, if they run out of food, he'll eat one of them. You know, is that sort of logic. John was nominated six times himself. Was it inevitable that he would face eviction again? Well, yes, and I mean, he's got to stay because he's fascinating stuff, but I mean, would you really want to be in there with him? I mean, he is still quite frightening. The other thing about John is that the confidence that he's gaining means that he wants to lead the group, and he's becoming very dominant, and they will not like that at all. No, OK. Now, last uh, week we thought we'd spotted a potential John and Justin romance. This week they nominated each other, and this is what went on last night. John is extremely, I'm sorry, I'm going to it, <laughs> sexist. Where did I have apples and bananas got in? Justine has several pieces of fruit a day, as far as I can work yeah. out. Um, Justine. Did you all want water the plants? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the no, dissension no, comes stop, in. Stop, stop. Don't get me wrong. It's, he is a lovely, lovely guy. It's just, just not you. He's just not me. Second time for John, first time for Justine. How do you think she'll react? I think she'll... Uh, she wasn't very happy. She's not been very happy in there at all. She won't like it, though, because she's been quite manipulative in there. She's, she's, Has she? She's the one that tends to get the boot in quite regularly. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Okay, uh, here's how the group reacted after the announcement this afternoon. In alphabetical order... Another massive pause. John... Thought so. And Justine... Oh. What? Where is it? <gasps> anyway, those girls at home are going to be... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Karen. Karen. Interesting. What do you got to say about it's that? It's just terrific stuff, isn't it? I mean, John working away, complete control freakery. He, didn't, he couldn't look up. He had to announce everything before it got announced. Thought so. So he likes to act as though it was his decision, he's in control. Not a flicker of upset when he got announced. As you notice, complete silence. Yeah. Whereas Justine got a little bit of an intake of breath. But they're being less hypocritical. They didn't rush up to congratulate or commiserate with Justine. Um, and in actual fact, it was Tanya who was sobbing later on. She came and sort of started sobbing all over her. But. Is, is there going to be a competition for what I consider to be town crier? Because Sissy loves a blub. Uh, yes. Joss has been known to uh, wail a little bit as yeah. well. And now Tanya's at it. I'm, I'm really worried. It's a sort of bad trend that's emerging because it is hypocritical. They're not real tears. Anyway. Really? They're no. crocodile tears? Absolute cro I mean, especially Sissy. I mean, Sissy's just that, that Sissy's the right name for her because she just weeps at the drop of a hat and then she goes in there and does this complete hatchet job on them. I mean, she's, she's a nightmare with that kind of behaviour. Wow. OK, uh, neither Goss nor Anoush received a single nomination. What are they doing right, Jude? Um, Goss is probably the leader they'd like to have. And I think he's emerging a bit as a leader, and he'll challenge John. And he cooks, which is a good thing to do in there anyway. Yeah, sure. Um, Nush just sort of sits around looking blonde and pretty and doesn't do a lot and is slightly troubled. She would be the one that, if you suggested her, you'd probably feel very guilty about it afterwards. OK, cool. Um, finally, who do you think is going to go on Friday, then? Justine. You reckon? OK. Remember, you can watch the nominations in full on Big Brother tonight. So is it going to be John or Justine? You decide. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. I think I'd like to go for mid-table obscurity, so if we said four or five weeks, that would be nice. I would hopefully expect to be staying for the full stretch. Definitely, I would love to, love to win. <laughs> Nominations are going to be hard, but as I will have to do, they'll have to pick some names. So I'm not going to take it personally if I am nominated. If I am nominated, then it would sort of all depend on the reason why I was nominated. But I understand it's part of the course, that it's part of the, the competition, the show. Um, so I understand that, you know, it, it's inevitable. So I will just, I'll deal with it. Now, the question on my producer's lips uh, was, uh, John and Justine, what are they going through now? So who better to fill us in than the identical twins, Luby and Phil, who are on the phone right now? Hello, Luby. Hello. How are you? All right? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? How's the baba? How's your baby? No? Oh, he's fine, thank you. Good, good to know. Okay. Nominations were announced at 4.41 this afternoon. Did you feel Justine's pain? 
Yes, definitely. Did you? What, did you, what sort of vibes are you getting from her? Uh, I'm guessing she seems to be coping with it, I think, a lot better than I am at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. You, what's the matter? Well, I just feel a bit gutted for her, actually. It's a bit of a shock to me. Right, OK. So, so how do you think she's going to cope, then, knowing as, her as you do in the next couple of days? Um, she's going to be fantastic. Yeah? She, she is. She's can a, I, can she's I just a, ask a good you? She's on her shoulders and she's fantastic. Well, well, when you came uh, down to the show last week, uh, you got on very well with Phil. Uh, now that John's uh, and Justine's feelings have changed to each other, mm -hmm. have your feelings changed to Phil? No, no, not at all. OK, it's not that much of a twin thing then. All right, thank you very much, Luby. I'm sure we'll see you towards the end of the week, I hope. And we've also got Phil on the line. Hello, Phil. Hey, Dermot, how are you doing? You're right. Now, um, I imagine you, you were so convinced John uh, would be nominated. It says here you cleared your diary for the rest of the week. Why are we so sure? Um, I, I don't know. I, 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 you know, they've got to nominate someone. Anushka said when she, when she got out who she would nominate, and she just said, well, you've got to vote for someone. Mm -hmm. um, but he just wanted to get in the house and, you know, he's achieved his goal and he's just in there enjoying himself. Now, now I think people are tuning in to find out what on earth John's going to do next. <laughs> so right, um, he's got to <clears throat> stay in. I know you're not a mirror twin and I know he is the most logical man in the world. Yeah. But have you got any vibes as to how he's feeling right now? I mean, no, when, uh, he's, when he's happy, does the, dress, does the dressing gown come on, like, more often? I think he is happy in there. Um, he, you know, he just, he went in there to have a good laugh. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's just in there being himself, having fun. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Phil. I'm sure we'll see you at the end of the week. Uh, good luck both to Libby and Phil. OK, still to come, Ian Lee fills us in on the very latest house action. If he stays awake, we're going to be talking toilet and we're going to find out who you would have, uh, nominate for the boot on Friday. Don't go away. We'll see you in three. Oh, you lovely summer paycheck. Mm. Without you, I'll be nothing but a red coat. Mm. Welcome back, everyone. You've got to love it. The Big Brother's Little Brother, I hope you're all very well. We're joined by uh, the only Irish presenter not to have lived in the Big Brother house. Uh, thank goodness for him. Um, Don't know, it's you right, sir. Hi, how are we doing? Yeah, very well, thanks. It's still awake. It's been up since half past two today. Yeah, hardcore. Hardcore. Yes, that's right. I, I am the hardcore man. Well. OK. Uh, you've been monitoring the house. Yes, I have. What were you we thinking? Well, uh, Nush and Justine at the moment, starting at 6.14, were saying they didn't want any more girls to go. Now, that sounds like they're sort of maybe having a bit of a plot it's and a talking packed. about the voting going yeah, on yeah. against the rules. Um, and at nine minutes past six, Cameron really started getting on my nerves. Why? What did he do? Oh, he just started talking. And it's his irritating voice. Cameron's obviously got issues. I won't talk about them here, but he's obviously got issues. I think you should just bring them out and discuss them. Where well, says it, John? John fears the group may split. He fears the group may split up. But more interestingly, uh, John and Goss believe there is a hidden agenda to the voting. And Goss wouldn't explain what this was. Um, I don't really want to say, I don't want to put words in his mouth. But he thinks there's something going on. He'd like to discuss it with John when they get out. Are you surprised with the nominations? No, I'm not. Of course they're going to vote for John because he's a boring robot, you know. But that's why I love him. Yep. I think he should stay in there. Um, it's Justine, is it, as well, that's uh, been voted? Yep. Um, no, bit of a nothing, really. Bit of a nothing. Have you got a favourite housemate? Well, John is my favourite boy, but of the girls... Oh, damn it, O'Leary, this is... <laughs> Surely you could sell this experience on the internet for make a fortune. <laughs> ah, lying back with Dermot Leary. Who's like, your favourite house, mate? Oh, gosh, I wish we lived in a house together. That would be <laughs> lovely. Um, uh, three, Steph. Three big lazy boys together. <laughs> OK, well, just for you, this is an unseen clip of Steph's audition video. Oh, If wicked. you can, take a lovely... Uh, I'm from Reddit. That was, that was purely unedited as well. <laughs> and, and, and since I've been in you the house... You did nothing with that tape? No, absolutely not. Oh, that's, that's amazing. No doctoring going on whatsoever. <laughs> Have you got a favourite Big Brother moment so far? Um, they're all John classics, I'm afraid. I mean, the, the solar panel was talked about at work for ages. But the Hotel California, it's like... It's just beautiful. It's just tuneless. It's, he displayed as much emotion as he had there, mm -hmm. and there was no emotion. <laughs> Absolutely all right. Oh, my goodness! What's <laughs> happened here? Take a look. We can take over the world with this chair. <laughs> Did, does everyone realise the words, Hotel California, that, <laughs> that verse? <laughs> Mirrors on the ceiling, pink champagnes on ice. We are all just prisoners here of our own device. Relax, said the nightmare, we are programmed to recede. But we can check out any time we like, but we can never leave. Wonderful. Wouldn't have been half as good without the hose either, I know. I know, that's what makes all the... Yes, he gets confident halfway through, and when he gets programmed to receive, he starts acting it out. I think the man is a legend. That's when he starts showboating. OK, more from you in about... 
Oh, a minute or oh, so. Oh, I look forward to it. OK, uh, every year Big Brother housemates spend more time than is necessary going to the toilet and sharing the habits with the nation. This year is no exception. Take a look at this. Not this, this. I just want to ask if I could possibly go and relieve myself in the toilet. I need to, I can't, I don't think. I might go for a poo soon. I can feel it all just like... Mm. You been? Not for a couple of days. I'm just going to wing me so that I can enjoy it, you know? Is well, so everybody happy like getting one stuff. roll each, for, or oh. toilet roll? Oh, I think I need, might need to go for my second poo. Second poo? Right. Maybe for up the intake on sugar. I mean, if you think it's helping you have a poo. Yeah. Do you flush or just wipe? I flushed it. I'm a big expert on poo. And... Just been for my third poo in nine days, which is very exciting. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, does, does everyone think we'll go through a whole roll of toilet paper? Oh, Leave no, the man. dog roll, man! Leave it! Leave, Leave the toilet roll now. issue! Good <laughs> God. The average human being spends six months on the throne in their lifetime. Goss was even sitting on his when he made his audition tape. Could you recognise a bog of the Big Brother housemate? That's a task we're setting to Ian. Uh, the rules are very simple. You look at the loo, you have to guess the housemate. What the heck have I got myself involved in? <laughs> I thought this was a proper show. I'm wearing chicken's feet, we're talking about poo. <laughs> Derma, thanks very much. Cheers. Welcome to our wonderful world. I was promised Anushka was going to be here. What's going on? Oh, she will be. She's springing out a big cake oh, in I a minute it. for you, OK? OK, can we see our first toilet, yeah, please? Let's have this. Now then. What do you reckon? It looks dirty, doesn't it? I want to just uh, draw your attention to a couple of things. Please do. Uh, firstly, the wallpaper. Uh, now, I don't know if that's a lot of splashback going on there, but oh, it ain't man. pretty. That's unhygienic, uh -huh. but let the beast. Uh, we've got some toilet paper there There's as well. A plant I don't there think the toilet well. paper is properly in the holder, which always, always I find is a sure sign of laziness. Mm. What do you reckon then, Ian? I reckon that's got to be a, a fella. It can't be John, because John would be built like a space machine from the future. Um, Oh, Federico, cocky Federico. I think, my friend, you were going to be surprised by Really? This. Can we have a look? Oh, oh yeah. it's Sissy, Sissy the hippie. I should have guessed. Okay. I should have guessed. Apart Next away. up, can we have a look at toilet number two, please? Who would have a toilet like this? John. John. That you is think that's functional. John's? That's used for one or two functions only. Let's take a quick look around this toilet with our fantastic laser pen. Um, <laughs> you got a laser pen? It's up there, yeah. They don't let me use it, but it's around. OK, up there you can see a picture of a car, a clock, which I always find slightly worrying in the toilet. <laughs> 25 How long minutes. have I been here? <laughs> and what looks like a candle, but quite a high candle, which could cause quite a lot of damage. First aid as well. There's first good. aid kit there, which is... I don't really know why that would be I on top of the toilet. Uh, I don't know if you can see that again. Yep, there we go. The most enormous piece of uh, toilet roll in Ooh. the world. That's actually a kitchen roll. Enormous. That could be goss then, so couldn't it? Yeah, I'm thinking wide load. Yeah, maybe. Mm, and I don't know what that is. I think, <laughs> I think that they're a little bit too big to go in there, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> a little bit of carryover. It's, in that case, yeah, it's got to be, it's gotta be uh, the double man goss. You reckon? Yeah, he ate all the pies. <laughs> OK, let's take a look. Oh, it's Cameron. Cameron, the man with issues. Mm -hmm. He's got such issues. Zero for two right now, big uh, boy. Yeah, not looking good. How am right. I live? Toilet number three, let's take a look. Now, this That's is a class a... act, oh. all right? Marble uh, toilet seat, which we're loving. I think we can look up there to the gl double glazing, so we're thinking good area. This is very classy. Yeah, absolutely. And I wouldn't I... mind going to the toilet in that bathroom. Exactly. And then I think there's a, there's a nice shower curtain screen as well there, yeah. which suggests to me someone who may well be at ease with the company of others in the bathroom. Is that a clue? No, I, well, no, not really. Oh, right, um, fine. I, oh, so I shouldn't be paying any attention genuine, to the words you're saying no, at all. No, not at all. No one else does. In the slightest. Who do you reckon? Oh, um, do you know, I reckon only a, a woman I could love could have a bathroom. That's got to be Steph, the girl of my dreams. Take a look. Oh, it's Justine. her. Justine, it's I'm her. Not, I'm not a fan of her. I'm, I'm... OK, next up, let's take another look. Zero for three. Interesting. This is the last one. We're out of time. Look at that tiny sink. Now, we've got gold taps there. We've got mm. gold taps. They, they're going. We've got mahogany there. Which, mahogany gold, mahogany gold, I'm mahogany gold. I'm, oh, and gosh. if you just take a look at the bars at the window, someone no may have spent a lot of time inside. No, no it's Federico. Say. It's got to be Federico, the naughty reckon, boy. Reckon it's Fed. Let's take a look. Oh. oh. Raimondo. Yeah. Do you know, he, I didn't even know he was in the house. I watched today. I thought, who's this bald fella? <laughs> I seriously didn't know he was in the house. Uh, have, we got, what, have we got time for one more or not? OK, very quickly, let's take a look. Oh, this is so good. Come on. More toilets. OK, very, very tweet. A, a yacht there, and there's a duck on the other side. Mm. Very frilly curtains. Mm. Big girl's blouse. What are you thinking? I'm thinking again... Got to rush you, baby. Federico, Federico, I just want to see let's his take toilet. take a 
Nice, your baby. Oh, it's the one I love. Zero four five. In just a moment, we'll find out who you think is going to be evicted on Friday. Really? First, hear the all important voting numbers. Okay, today's cool BBLB, quite simply, is uh, who would you have nominated and why? I'd like to be joined a little late by Anushka, and you up. Judy and Ian. Okay, let's go straight to phones. Before we do that, sorry, who would you have voted for? Um, Scott, just because we've seen nothing from him. Steph, because her eyebrows don't work. Mm. Justine. Justine, okay, interesting. Okay, John from Northern Ireland, hello. Hi there, how are you? How are you doing? Great, thanks. Go for it, John. All right. Basically, I mean, John, it's like Lloyd Grossman in a river club. He doesn't belong there. It just looks out of place. I mean, it, it just creates negative atmosphere, shuts everyone up, doesn't cause an argument like it should. It and he ruined my favourite song. And as well as that, that, that phrase, I can talk to people who earn very little or those who earn a six-figure sum. It's not much good if people don't want to talk to you, John, is it? OK, interesting. John Backlash is happening. Oh, my goodness. It's nasty and right it's violent. <laughs> it's aggressive. John, uh, who, who do you want to stay in, then? I mean, uh, obviously, Justine's up there. Who, who do you want to go Justine, all the way? going to give them under the charity. Uh, that's a good cause. But, I mean, the fear of beer, so to speak, it's nice. She's great. OK, thanks a lot. Uh, Carol from Sudbury. Hello, Carol. Hello. Hello, Ooh. yourself. <laughs> you mad professor. <laughs> <laughs> who do you think's got to go? I think Federico needs to go. You would nominate Federico? Interesting. Why? Because he's rude to you lot. And he's also extremely lazy. Yeah. He only ever does something when someone prompts him to do it. There's another reason, though, isn't there? Because I think Cameron's gorgeous. <laughs> and he's got, and he's got what? Got a gorgeous bum. There we go. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, Becky from Exeter. Hello, Becky. Hi. Go for it. Hi. Yeah. And um, the person I like out of that house this week is John. Why? Because he's the most boringest guy. Who wants to sit there every day on watching national TV, talking on about their Star Trek and their invention? <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that, Bex? No, I don't. Oh, it's very exciting. Oh, it's honest. No, it's not. I'd rather li I would rather watch paint dry than listen to him talking on about that. Do you not think he adds something to the house? No. I don't like him at all. I wish he, you know, I'd bet some, you know, really bad people in my time. But he just the ex of the now. <laughs> <laughs> that, Becky. Really aggressive. Pretty much all we've got time for. I'd like to thank our three guests, Ian, Thanks Lovely Judy, and Anushka. We're going to be back tomorrow at six. We find out whether the housemates have passed their Cub Scout task, mm -hmm. and we take a close look at the girl boy divide in the house. Don't forget, you can watch the nominations on Four Big Brother tonight uh, at ten o'clock, and we are back at six tomorrow. We'll see you then.